If you haven't heard, there is a movie that has begun filming right now in Louisiana called The Iron Claw. It is a movie based on the Von Erich family, who of course were uh, professional wrestlers primarily in the 1980s. And for a time, uh, they were some of the biggest names in professional wrestling and were immensely popular in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I did a video on that about a month ago, uh, talking about some of the casting. Talked about the Von Erics a little bit. If you haven't seen that, you can click the icon in the upper right-hand corner to get to that video. This is going to be a little bit more casual. As they have begun filming, they released more of the cast, and I thought I would do an update on some of the other people uh, that are going to be in the movie. It's kind of strange because they have been very quiet about who is going to be in the movie. Of course, maybe the way they, they shoot movies these days, well, I say these days, it's been that way for a while. They, it's not like they do it in chronological order. Uh, they may be just filming things with the, the cast that they have right now, and they may still be casting the, the doggone thing. But, but here are some of the, the people that are in the movie. And, of course, first, before I go any further, let me, let me uh, elaborate on a couple of things from the previous video. Jeremy Allen White is a fine actor. I didn't mean to imply in otherwise. I think that the problem myself and a lot of other people have is just he does not look that much like Kerry Von Erich. And Kerry Von Erich's look was very a very big part of who he was. But he but Jeremy Allen White is a very good actor and if anybody can pull off playing the part of Kerry Von Erich, then I'm sure he can. I, I think the problem a lot of us have is that Oddly enough, centered on, on a profession that uh, during the kayfabe era relied heavily on the fan's ability to suspend disbelief. A lot of us are having trouble suspending disbelief <laughs> when it comes to someone playing the part of a pro wrestler. I hope he, I hope he knocks it out of the park. I hope uh, we're all eating crow when this thing comes out. And also, uh, something that has come up in the comments and something I wondered about myself, I wasn't sure... Uh, we weren't sure if Kevin Von Erich was involved in the movie at all or if he had been consulted. And uh, apparently he has. He did speak with uh, director Sean Durkin. And uh, I believe it was TMZ uh, actually talked to Kevin about uh, about Zac Efron. And uh, Kevin said that he thought Zac Efron looked great. Ross, uh, Kevin's sons, Ross and Marshall, posted this picture on their Instagram uh, comparing Zac with, with Kevin. Uh, I think a lot of people thought the same thing I did. He actually looks a little more like Kerry than he does Kevin. Not really digging that hair, but uh, Zach Efron does look great. It's nice to see that he put a lot of work into this. Uh, of course, Kevin had that uh, kind of long torso. Made him, while he was still muscular, he also looked uh, still looked very slender in, in a way. And uh, Zach Efron looks a little more meaty. But, uh, but the, the point being that Kevin is aware of the movie. He has talked to the director. Uh, I don't, at this point, I don't think he has uh, talked to Zac Efron at all, but they are uh, aware of what's going on and, and uh, they are giving the movie their endorsement. So that's good to know. Okay, well, let's go ahead and, and get into some of the, the other cast, but they do have some prime characters here. And so let's, uh, I'm going to interrupt your view of this Von Erich's uh, Freebirds match uh, with a few pictures. Uh, the first one uh, is kind of an, kind of odd. Uh, very recently, Lily James was announced as being in the movie, but they haven't announced what her part actually is. Now, just judging from this picture that uh, that came out from on set, I'm assuming she'll be playing Kevin's wife. I don't know that for sure, but that's just uh, that's just what I'm assuming. Uh, you know, I, I kind of thought at first, you know, maybe it would—it could be Kevin's wife, it could be Carrie's wife, it might be Sunshine. Uh, but just, just based on this, I'm thinking it's probably going to be uh, Kevin's wife. I know Lily played uh, Lady Rose McClare on Downtown Abbey from 2012 to 2015. Uh, she's also played Deborah in the uh, 2017 film Baby Driver. And you may have at least heard about the uh, 2022 miniseries Pam and Tommy based on the story of Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. And Lily played Pamela Anderson in that miniseries with the help of some prosthetics. And boy, you talk about uh, changing the look for a role. That <laughs> the, the makeup, she, I thought she did fantastic. I, I did not watch the miniseries, 
but just from the clips I saw and everything, she I thought she did a great job. She looked a lot like Pam Anderson. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Like I say, I'm not even sure what for, for certain what role she's playing, but she is in the movie. Okay, for the ones that we do know who, who they are playing, okay, playing the part of Fritz von Erich is Hope McElhaney. Uh, Hope plays Lieutenant Brannigan in an AMC series called 61st Street. He also played Bullet in the 2021 film Wrath of Man and Bill Tench in a TV series called Mindhunter from 2017 to 2019. Uh, his career goes way back uh, to the mid-80s. He was doing guest spots on TV shows and had small roles in movies like Creepshow 2, uh, Shakedown, Casualties of War. Uh, he was also in Fight Club in the late 90s. So he's been around for a while, and uh, he's played a lot of authority figures, a lot of cops, a lot of soldiers, a lot of tough guys. So he should fit right in uh, playing Fritz. All right, playing the part of Doris Von Erich, Fritz's wife, uh, is Maura Tierney. Uh, Maura most recently was in a TV series called American Rust, where she played a character named Grace Poe. She's been on a lot of TV series uh, over the years, and you might remember her as Mrs. California on, I believe it was the seventh season of The Office. Uh, likely her three most notable roles have been her uh, big break as Lisa Miller on the mid to late 90s TV series, uh, News Radio, and playing Jim Carrey's ex-wife, Audrey, in uh, Liar Liar. Uh, some of you may know her as Abby Lockhart on ER as well. Uh, it's a solid actress, really has that every woman appeal that I, I think is perfect for Doris. That's, that's, I thought that was a good choice. Uh, then moving on to the the, uh, the last of the wrestling Von Erichs that have been cast. We still don't have a Chris yet, but we have, they have cast Mike Von Erich. And that is being played by Stanley Simons. Uh, as you would expect, Stanley is young and hasn't been acting for very long. His, his feature film debut is in 2019 as Connor in a movie called Angel Fish. Uh, other than that, he has done a few guest spots on TV series like Law & Order SVU and uh, was in a few episodes of series called Model Boy. Uh, he also played a stoner ice cream shop manager in a movie called Superior. Uh, so not a lot to go by on Simons, and I have to admit I haven't seen anything he has done. Uh, I do know he is a musician and that uh, outside the ring Mike loved to play guitar, so there is that as well. Uh, we'll just have to wait and, and see uh, how he does in that role. Uh, this next one is an interesting one. Uh, playing the part of longtime NWA world champion Harley Race is Kevin Anton. And Anton is one of those guys, when you look at him, you think, I know him from somewhere, I just don't know where. And uh, Anton has played a lot of smaller roles in TV series and movies with most of his characters being listed as you know, front desk cop or delivery guy or businessman. Uh, he played a henchman in the series Gotham in 2016. One of his characters with a name is uh, Father Tim from the 2018 film American Dresser. And you go back to 2006 and he had a bit part in an episode of The Sopranos. So Anton has been around uh, quite, a, quite a bit uh, and this could be his big break, who knows. This next one, which is the last of the uh, bigger parts that have been announced so far, anyway, uh, is, is a really good choice, I think. Uh, I also know I'm going to butcher this name. Forgive me if uh, the pronunciation of it is wrong, but uh, playing the part of Bruiser Brody, who was a good friend in and out of the ring of the Von Erics, is Cassie Lewis Saragino. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, Cassie is also a musician, by the way, and has been acting for a while. His uh, first film appearance was an uncredited role in Mr. Holland's Opus in 1995. Uh, he played a student in that. Uh, he has a lot of credits that are, are like hairy biker, bar fighter, bearded biker. So a lot of, a lot of smaller parts. Uh, you may remember him as Tiny in an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And a fun fact, he is uh, one of the Vikings from the Capital One commercials. Uh, he certainly looks the part, and it, it's nice to see he will play what is likely going to be a sizable role. Uh, he certainly looks the part. I think that's a, a good choice. And uh, the only other parts that have been announced so far have been uh, Jim Gleason playing a part that is simply listed as Doctor. Uh, Gleason played a, a lot of doctors over the years in shows like American Horror Story, Nashville, and Glee. 
He was also the star of a TV series called We're Alive that ran from 2009 to 2014. I have no idea if this is supposed to be the Von Erichs personal doctor, or if maybe it's a scene from when Mike was in the hospital. I don't really know. Uh, but Jim Gleason will be playing doctor. And also, uh, Julian Dulce Vita plays uh, Jerry the Sound Man. I have no idea what that means. But uh, Vita is another guy that has been around for a while. He was on episodes of shows like JAG and ER in the 90s. More recently, he had parts on Southland and uh, CSI New York. I don't know if Jerry the Sound Man means he's part of one of the TV broadcasts or what, but uh, he, has, he is also going to be in the movie. And so far, that's all they've, they've announced. Uh, filming has started in, as I said, in Louisiana. Uh, no word yet. Uh, I've had a lot of people bring up you know, the Freebirds. Of course, there's, there's a lot of people that were a big part of Devon Eric's life uh, in and out of the ring. He had, of course, he had the Freebirds. I, I can't imagine they would make this movie and not have the Freebirds be part of it. So you've got Michael Hayes, Terry Gordy, and Buddy Roberts to cast. Uh, Sunshine was was good friends with Devon Eric's in and out of the ring. Jim Garvin, Chris Adams, uh, David Manning uh, trained with with the boys. And of course, you know, Brian Adias uh, really was a childhood friend of Kerry. Uh, so there's a lot of people that uh, that could be cast. They have to cram a life story into into an hour and a half to two hours. So a lot of a lot of things are probably just going to be skipped, or they'll you know creative license. They'll rearrange it. You have to be prepared for that. You can't expect everybody that was in world class to be. You know it's not like they're going to go looking for the missing link. And they may have Skandar Akbar in there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But up to this point, these are the people that have been cast. Uh, feel free jump into the comments section if you'd like, if you have ideas on if they do have a David Manning, if they do have a, a, you know, Michael Hayes and Terry Gordy and Buddy Roberts and Jim Garvin and, and all these other guys. Uh, who would you cast? I'm going to try and, and stay on top of this as much as I can. If there's any, any more news, I'll put some more stuff out there. I'll put more links on the end screen uh, to other videos on the channel if you want to check those out. If you're new and haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Not necessarily in that order. And I will see you next time.